it's been quite a time for you these past few days. Yeah. You like blowed up in a minute and you like signed deal and shit and you got in front of a lot of money. <laughs> uh, how is that? Have you ever expected that you're gonna like really face this shit or have you been like it's a dream? Um to be honest with you, I don't I don't let it um I don't think too much of it. I don't want it to change me. Um what I've been doing lately is just rubbing it in the face of a lot of people that made fun of me and made fun of me the way I dress, the way I dress, not being able to afford certain, you know, pieces of clothes, making fun of me of getting face tattoos, you know what I'm saying, making fun of me of my hair color, my teeth, just shit that people didn't believe in, you know what I'm saying? So the the stuff that been going on with me doesn't change me, but it, it I feel happy that it happened, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it just makes me feel like I, I made something of myself. Don't you like feel it's a bit weird that like we in 2017 are people like getting are like making fun of you for like having like colorful hair and like and shit and face it too? I mean like, I don't, isn't I don't, it isn't it be weird like these days? I mean you you come from America, you come from New York, and that's like the most liberal city in the world. And you are still like, you know, treated like that. Don't you think it's a bit weird? It don't phase me, bro. Like I love who I am. Like I could go outside anywhere. I could go. I could be in Europe, Africa, Money! South South America, and everything. I could. I could be. I could be fucking. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere in the world, and I feel comfortable in my own skin. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel really comfortable in my own skin. So everything that I do is me, because I love doing it. You know what I'm saying? So. It don't phase me. I like it. I like who I am as a person. Yep. And like, no, that's the thing. It's a bit weird for us that, you know, you're an like, American artist and we are from Slovakia. And, you know, there's the guy that like sort of manages you in Europe. Mm, his name is Yek, you probably know him. Yeah. And there's a thing that it's uh, not an unusual thing for us to have an U.S. artist to, like perform and be that famous. You know, you like... How, how does it feel? Isn't it like a bit weird? You know, not many artists from US like get this much of a fame in like Central Europe or let's say Eastern Europe like you do. Uh, you have a lot of rap colleagues back in New York in the US and how do they face this? Do they think like it's relevant or do they think like it's just, you know, whatever or? Um, when I first started making music, the first people to start liking what I did, like what I do in my music, my videos was Slovakia. I think it was Czech Republic. I don't know if Czech Republic was first or Slovakia was first. Probably Slovakia, most Probably likely. Slovakia, but you know, it's but, like pretty but, much yeah, it's pretty think. much the same. But I gravitated towards that because I felt like those people understood me. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, it's not weird because I'm an American artist and I and I fuck with Czech Republic and Slovakia so much. These people, I feel like they're my family. I feel like Czech Republic is home. Slovakia, Bratislava, Prague is home. So like it here? I love it. I love it. I want to move here. Um, I love the people. I love the environment. I love everything about the country, the countries. And um, these people understand me. The way Americans feel about it, I don't think they like it. I don't think American artists like that. I'm, I'm trying to connect America and Czech Republic. I'm the only artist that's trying to connect Czech Republic Slovakia with America. I feel like Czech Republic and Slovakia will be, needs to be known in America. And I'm the artist making it huge, you know what I'm saying, in America, in New, especially in New York. Everyone knows Fuck Them, the label. Everyone knows Yaksha. Everyone knows them. And I will carry Fuck Them on my back. I will carry Slovakia. I will carry Czech Republic to America so they could get noticed. That's honestly really nice to hear, yeah. but... Is there like any other Slovakian and Czech or Czech artists besides your label colleagues that you like like or you know like um, besides Dalib and shit? I, I like, are there like any other MCs who you fuck with or you would like a featuring or something? I never, I never, I never um, understood uh, like a lot of it, so I don't really listen yeah, to like, it. But the people are nice. I like Gleb Zoo. Um, I just heard Smack for the first yeah. time. Did you like him? I like him. I think he's cool. He's a mad MC, man. Like, yeah, 
He's one of the like I mean, British MCs, like really, really. Everyone here is great. You know what I mean? I don't know their names. I just he went before me, and I know that I like what I heard. Um, other than that, you know what I mean. You know Rhythmus? Rhythmus? Rhythmus, yeah, like the biggest in the game here. I think I heard him before. I think I heard of the name, but yeah, I, yeah. I don't know him. I know uh, Ego. Yeah, yeah, that's like his like band colleague. Okay, okay. So I know him. They firm a group that's called Count for Fact. They're like okay. mad legends here. Okay, like, shout like, out. In, in, what, in Prom, famously Prom, Prom the Fact? Yeah, Count for Fact is their name. Count for Fact? They had like Nate Duck featuring back in the days and shit. Oh, they were okay. mad. It was like Nate Duck's last featuring before his death. Oh, okay. It wasn't like Count for Fact's track. Oh, shout out Count for Fact. So, so you um, like him? I never heard them. I know. I, I, I met Ego in, in this Fuck Them studio. Yeah. Um, but I never heard music by them. Um... Other than Haha ha Crew, yeah, I don't know anyone else. Well, just tell Yaksha on your way back to the hotel yeah. to play some shit. He he, like, yeah, yeah. he's gonna definitely. No, Yaksha, do. yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's gonna play you some good stuff from them. And like you know, hip hop camp is like pretty much of a big thing for us. You know, here in Euro, here in like Central Europe and Czech Republic and Slovakia, it is like the biggest rap happening ever. And you know, the lineup isn't that good as like we would all wish. And do you think like? Like next year, maybe some Travis Scott or some some stuff like that could perform here. Do you think like people who come here could adore Travis or like whatever, like let's say Kanye or some other like dreamy shit? I definitely I believe that next year Hip Hop Can Festival, you guys have one of the biggest biggest artists from America because fuck them the label is growing so much. I'm, I'm I will continue to make content for fuck them. I will continue to make content for Czech Republic and Slovakia to make it big, big, where people in America is like, I want to go there and perform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the people. I love the way they treat Takashi. Because I'm, I'm America's own, you know? I'm from New York, so definitely by next year, Hip Hop Camp Festival has some big American names. Thank you, G, so much. Thank you yeah. for your time. Bye. You know that, bro. Cool. Yeah,